We can tell stories about the uh, Indaga and um, Nyinjiri people. This is back in creation days. to our Nyinjiri people community living here. And they had a very special rock, Chiwa, it's called, and the Jungari. And uh, <clears throat> Tengindaga, the pranti, he heard it from uh, this over Western Australia border. He was inside the WA and he heard the noise. Because they were pretty powerful people and in um, creation days. And uh, he heard the noise and come all the way to here, to Waladina. And... Uh, he um, camped uh, that way, um, west side. Um, and you can't see his spot from here, but uh, he can go around, around that way and see the spot where he camped there for three days. And um, people were pleased to see him. And uh, they said, oh, Jammu, Jammu, uh, grandfather, grandfather, uh, good to see you. And they were taking, give him um, the grass seeds, wangunu, my wangunu. And um, he, he tasted and, oh, no, not good. And uh, he, um, chakam wai, chakam Ila, he was dropping in uh, in inside the windbreak, and uh, after that, they. Um, but midnight, one bloke goes there with a fire stick going like this, then give it to him, um, one one, and he go, oh yeah, this is a good one. That's from that nice special jiwa, and he spell it right up, and mm, and he watching. Coming back this way, he come back here from round there, and uh, there he follows the fire stick, uh, the light, and uh, where to stop here. He said, Oh, that's where they keep that uh, jiwa, the grinding stone. And um, he, um, after three days, he was ready. Then, okay, we'll go hunting, we'll, we'll go hunting for some sort of a meat, marlo, I think, I don't know, something. <laughs> and they went hunting uh, north, um, past uh, Waldena houses, uh, up that way. And he um, ran into, his foot ran into his stick, so he stake his foot. And uh, he said, oh, sorry, Bakali's grandsons, I can't come hunting. Um, uh, they, they said, I, Jammu, you, grandfather, you uh, injure yourself and uh, you hurt. Okay, we will bring Kuka back for you. So he said, I oh, better leave me here. So they leave him there. And they went quick. And um, some wise man didn't trust him. He said, oh, we better hurry up and cook her. Um, the, what they kill for that day, um, hunting, and uh, quick cook and cut it up and come back and with a lot of people. And uh, soon um, those people gone hunting, he just um, bandage up his foot and leave him. And uh, soon as they gone away from him, he run back here and he pulled a chiwa out of this one. And he gone that way. And he go around trick then, trick way. So uh, one or two didn't trust him and they had a quick lunch and come back straight away and 
and they expecting he might do something like that, and he did. So he, because and he multiply all his coronism um, from a spirit and to cover up his um, track and to cover him up and and uh, make him many tracks and uh, but one little boy was here and he said no no you following wrong one this one the jamu is this one this track footprint this one they go no you useless kid you don't know what are you talking about and uh, they wouldn't listen to him and uh, anyway they follow him and they caught up with him and they said hey where's that jiwa he said oh, I got nothing oh, come away it's back there and they feel him all over on his body and under his arm and all that and oh no nah, nothing here then they come back here and he was getting further and further out but he wasn't in a hurry he'd take time he creating food at language um, languages different ones and uh, he created uh, Edma and um, he was um, there and uh, cut to Mimili and he sat down Mimili a long time. He just wasn't in a hurry at all, right through Mimili, uh, Frigon, right up to Mount Woodruff. Mount Woodruff is uh, that's in, that's in Indaka, Pranti. It just standing up like this and he was looking out to his rock. And uh, but it's the uh, highest mountain in South Australia, I think. Mm. Yeah, Mount Woodruff. But uh, it's in Indak. And uh, yeah. So um, that's how um, what he did here. And uh, this place, um, it's still important, but uh, not as important now because he taken that main. A jiwa from here, and anyway, they caught up with him. Cut the long story short, um, that's before WA, and they seen that hey, he got it here all the time. He got the jiwa, and um, they just break it up like this, go kind of like this, break up the jiwa, and he's got angry then and he wanted to fight and uh, one bloke spare him throws a spear and got him and uh, they cut him up and kill him there but night day before his auntie Kundili seeing the cloud and, uh, and she's feeling real happy oh my nephew just one more night one more night and he'll be here tomorrow night and when she seen the cloud went down she knew that he was in trouble and the Nyingiri people killed him and uh, the next morning she looked never seen the cloud again so uh that was in that part and um, um, that's where we lived the story but uh, they um, create something in return payback and they create a willoughby to do a trick those Nyingiri people, they kill him and they come back and they didn't come all the way back here. They stopped at Annabella, uh, Musgrove Ranges area there, a place called Anilanya. And uh, they were there hunting. <coughs> and the Ganyala, the Wallaby, got there and uh, they speared throw a spear but didn't spare him but he done a trick hold it and carrying a spear and looked like he was wounded and they follow him 
all on injury people follow him and follow him and one blog his friend was a kangaroo Marlo. reckon I we this nice big um, meat good steak you know Ilian Bulganya uh, here on one day don't, don't leave him we gotta give follow him and he lead him right back to Western Australia and uh, come in a cave and taken all the Nyingiri people into the cave, um, the place, uh, important place in uh, WA there. And uh, then other people, they uh, made the cave cave in, you know, beat it, and uh, kill them all there, finish. Ngapart in return, a payback, finishing. That's it, Greg. Okay. Yeah. And Kathy. It was a uh, main community used to live here um, in the uh, late 40s, 1940s. And um, um, because the Nyingiri people in uh, creation days, they were Madhujara people speaking. They Madhuyanan, they speak like that and some Yangunjar people here that say Yananyi instead of Ananyi and uh, they are here and some people that are born here uh, the old people and uh, young ones and, and uh, not so young like me <laughs> but uh, this is a main place Waladina important place and the sand hills uh, oh sand hill this is a waste uh, from the Wangunu when they rung and grinding and it's from the jiwa dropping on the ground the waste and uh, so um, that's uh, the red sand hill it's got a special name um, that Dudley <laughs>